Kimberly Jackson, formerly Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Force Readiness, has been sworn in as Chief of Staff of the Department of Veterans Affairs. Kara Allison Marshall, Principal Director for East Asia within the Office of the Under Secretary of Defense for Policy, has been appointed Executive Director of the Defense Business Board. Amy Spruill, a technology industry executive, has assumed the roles of Senior Vice President and Managing Director for U.S. Regulated Industries at SAP North America. MITRE has elevated two internal executives, Charles Clancy and Jay Schnitzer, to new positions. The Defense Innovation Unit named Aditi Kumar Deputy Director of Strategy, Policy and National Security Partnerships and Kirsten Riesbeck as Deputy Director of People, Finance and Management. David Apple, formerly Vice President of National Security at Amazon Web Services, has been appointed VP of U.S. Federal at the Seattle Washington headquartered cloud computing company. Joe Oliva, an 11-year Northrop Grumman veteran, has joined Case as Vice President of Programs within the Defense Systems Division. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency has appointed Jonathan Bennett, a U.S. Army reservist and former vice president at defense consulting company SCS, as special assistant to the director. Aerospace and defense company RTX has appointed Amanda Sorensen as corporate vice president for talent. Brad Barnhart, who has been working at Cherokee Nation businesses for more than a decade, has been promoted to vice president of civilian and intelligence markets at the company's federal-focused subsidiary. Justin Taylor, most recently Vice President of Artificial Intelligence at Lockheed Martin, has transitioned to the role of VP of the F-22 program at the Bethesda, Maryland-based aerospace and defense contractor. Elliot Dooms, Regional Administrator for the General Services Administration's National Capital Region, will succeed Nina Albert as Commissioner of GSA's Public Buildings Service.